Indigenous languages are, uh, they're beautiful and they are not widely spoken, but they are taught. Um, in Toronto, uh, the University of Toronto teaches uh, Ojibwe and Haudenosaunee languages. Uh, the Native Canadian Centre also offers Cree and Ojibwe uh, language instruction. And so there are places to learn. It's always a challenge to learn, and it's always a challenge to see the value in something abstract. So on a personal level, I think there are places, but there's a political level too that I think is worth exploring. Um, and talking to our political representatives about the way we say kind of glibly sometimes that we're three founding nations, and yet we have official languages acts that only respect two languages. And uh, I have a cousin out at the University of uh, Winnipeg who, uh, like me, is also a lawyer and a law professor. Um, and she's beginning to think that maybe that's a Section 15 equality challenge. But, you know, the courts are not the best ways to resolve these things because in many ways these are political issues. And so uh, there's a guy uh, at the University of Toronto as well, uh, Irvin Student, who's a friend, and he's said for years that we should teach Indigenous languages along with French uh, and English in our school system. We should grow up learning it. Doesn't, you know, my kid's in French immersion and uh, he's actually pretty good. He's, you know, in grade Four, but he's all right. Um, if we can do that with French, you know, we can do that with indigenous languages. Um, I went to high school in northern BC and I stopped taking French in grade nine, so I have like 200 words of French uh, in the simple present tense. Uh, but it turns out I can communicate with my son in French. And so even under the worst of possible language instructions, northern BC is not the place to learn French. Um, <laughs> It's possible to learn enough as a young person to be able to carry on simple conversations and then to begin to understand how those languages conceive of the world. The reason that you can say things in some ways in one language and not in the other way is because that language views the world in a particular way absent in the other language. And coming to see how indigenous languages describe a particular view of the world is an extremely valuable way of according that equality and respect and dignity to indigenous cultures uh, that I spoke about earlier.